We've already seen a stunning morning of rugby from the land of the rising sun. Now it's time to enjoy some from the rock. Park can make it three opening wins in a row for the first time in four seasons against Canterbury. The team from the east, well the southeast of England at least, in their debut that one season. But the Black and Ambers may have lost their first two, but beware, there's always room for an upset in this league. We changed in the pack with Sam Twomey returning after Henry Spencer's broken nose. It's about 90 degrees. Mike McFarlane finish on the team try against Owies earns him a place in the starting 15. There's a new back half combo in Jack Gash and Harry Leonard. He'll end up getting his first start of the season. And a notable bench fellow is Ben Howard, the exciting former Worcester man on the wing. Jarvis Otto, man from Dover, works his way up through the ranks, all the way through, through the Pilgrims and everything. Into Smart, fastly moved here, Grimes. Into the centre, really fast hands here from Canterbury, and they're breaking away through Grimes. He's got a couple of options left and right, he's found Dan Smart in the middle as well. And Dan Smart is going to go all the way through, and what a shot that is in the first five minutes. The visiting side, Canterbury, breaking away at speed to take the lead here in quite stunning style. They've taken this game to park, and they've done it in Usain Bolt-esque speed. Ball belongs to Park and it had an advantage. Harry Leonard they're on a break at place here. Joe Monroe breaking through in the middle. Offload to Henry Cheeseman with great anticipation there. And it's quickly to Jack Gash. Harry Leonard again. They're on this right wing. Henry Robertson's got Nick Scott on that far side. Cuts inside to Dan Lavinger. He's going to go down. And a flowing move there from Park to match what Canterbury did. And Park turned the gears. Ball goes in. Stolen there by Dan Lavinger. And it's a quick break here. Oh, and a really stunning break here. Mike McFarlane breaking again. Carl Gibson. And I just caught everyone by surprise, especially the Canterbury side. And he breaks out to the left here. Harry Leonard into Hugh Gladys, who steps inside. He's trying to go over. Is he held up, though? No, he's not. The try is given. And once again, Park sprint forward with electric pace to stun the Canterbury side. Park are playing their game here, and that gives them the lead. Hugo Ellis, the captain, leading from the front once again. Second try of the season for him. Leonard. Twomey. Oh, and he breaks away from a couple of tackles there. Big run there from a former Irish Wild Geese man. And then looking for the run of Holland. And he takes to Cullen there. He comes inside. Oh, what a break there from the winger. And he is going to score his first try at the Rock in Rosslyn Park colours. And he gets a big round of applause there. But you have to admire the work of Nick Scott, who managed to find him from the inner channel and do a lovely offload. Collapses on that far side. It's a penalty to Park. Quickly taken by Gash. Monroe on that left side. Steps inside a couple of tackles. He's got Jack Gash again. He's sprinting away. There's Henry Cheeseman. Can he step inside? He's got a couple of men on that left side. Craig Holland's one of them. And Craig Holland is the man to put it over for his second try with pretty much in the 40th minute. 40th minute. Park get their bonus points. There's going to go short to Cadman. Moore maybe sets up here for Canterbury. So at the back with Diva. Diva has the ball and Canterbury are moving themselves forward. They're moving around to the side. Diva's still with the ball here. He's trying to get himself over and he does. Canterbury get the try that they really deserved in these first 10 minutes. Park just haven't really switched on in this second half. Canterbury just been attacking it more. Gash coming back to the left wing. It's got Dan Lavinger, hops inside to Ellis and Harry Collins around the outside, back to Ellis. Oh, that's absolutely wonderful from Rosslyn Park. What fast hands, what fast feet, and what a super try for Park's fifth of the game. And they just made it look easy there. Hugo Ellis getting his second after a 1-2 with Craig Holland. Forwards and backs working in harmony. Park looking to move this one quickly, and they do. Comes out to Harry Leonard inside to Nick Scott. Will he cut in again? Gets past Rogers. They get through three or four tackles, but they just managed to get him just short of the try line. Hugo Ellis trying to go round. He's on the hatch. He could be on a hat trick. Goodness me. I think he actually got that one. Well, there we go. Hat trick hero, Hugo Ellis. Great stuff from the captain. And there you go. That catches everybody out by surprise. <laughs> Kicks away. Smart again. Should be Harry Lenners this one. Gets tackled straight away. The part back in possession. Russell Weir finds Ellis into Howard. Howard may have a bit of space here, but we're going back. Um, no arms, contact to the body, moderate force. Ten minutes, please. 
Russell Weir manages to pop it out into Wade, but it's come on his foot, so it will be a scrum to Canterbury there. Park just getting a little bit sloppy and a little bit of fisticuffs just coming over, the heat, heating up again. Not sure who that is there, there's a bundle of bodies over there. You've instigated it by chasing someone, off you go. You've pulled him by the neck, off you go as well. Vantage though to Park, they do get it back. Hugo Ellis here, moving into Russell Weir. Craig Holland, there could be a chance. Ben Howard, maybe if he sprints away. He's going to sprint all the way, can he get back inside? He's got a bit of pressure from Sterling, but Howard's going to score on his debut. And a fitting way to end a raucous, riotous victory here for Rosslyn Park against a very committed Canterbury side. Despite a bit of a scare from the promoted side, Park powered on, powered through, and powered to that resounding victory. Three wins from three games. Another big statement from Kieran Powers' men. And the sun shining bright at the rock.